Good evening and praise God. Hope you have had a week full of revelations and knowledge concerning the Holy Spirit. You know, last Sunday we really dealt with this person of the Holy Spirit and we were reminded that them who say it <laughs> are them who have no relationship with him but they only experience his power. We also told that the Holy Spirit is not power but the Holy Spirit gives power. Hallelujah. <laughs> it's again Christ ambassadors and welcome to this session. Apostle. Yes. How have you been? Powerfully, powerfully, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, you, you know, powerfully, powerfully, okay. Powerfully, powerfully, okay. Yes. Hey, hey, that is wonderful. <laughs> yes. How is the family? How is Sheyue? Yes, Sheyue is, is good. Um, mm -hmm. I'm still married to one female wife. Mm -hmm. And God has blessed us with children. <laughs> many, many children. Yes, yes. And, and he's still doing wonders. Yeah, yeah, we, we, uh, from the way things are. Yes. As God is still bringing <laughs> more children. You uh, know, yes. uh, I've been interacting uh, with the people, yes. and they're like, hey, there's so many Ellie's. Mm. <laughs> you remember we talked about Samuel and Ellie? Yes, yes, yes. Samuel being able to hear the voice, but yes. cannot recognize. Sure. And Ellie can recognize the voice, but mm. no longer hears, mm, mm, the, mm. Uh, hears the same, same voice. Yes, yes. So people have been challenged. Mm. That indeed we have so many Ellie's. Yes. Uh, people who used to hear the voice, but, but they, they no, no longer, longer hear the hear voice. The voice. Mm. And they are a challenge that now even uh, some of them nurturing others mm. without hearing yes. is becoming a trick. Yeah, 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 sure, sure. And, uh, and I, I want us to continue. Mm. And uh, this night uh, yes. I was like, we look at the emblems but mm. just before that yes. i want us to demystify one thing mm. uh, people out there yes. they have been meant to believe yes. that receiving the holy spirit is falling oh wow 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 it's a beautiful i hope i'll not be beaten <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh one of the, the, the things that I've seen in Christodom, especially in our time, mm -hmm. is limiting the expression of the Holy Spirit to one method. Mm -hmm. But I don't blame people because I, I say it here sometimes that God will manifest through us in percentages of our growth. Mm -hmm. uh, every one of us uh, stands from a certain point. Mm -hmm. You know, the Bible says in Christ we live in Christ we move. move, in Christ we have our being. Yes. So we are in different locations in Christ. <laughs> we are in the moving. Yes, yes. We yeah. are in the living. Yes. <laughs> and, 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 and in the being. And the being. And even in the moving, you know, like there is a place you move eh, mm -hmm. from one position, it's it, your vintage point, your, your uncle of looking at things varies from the point in Christ where you are. Mm -hmm. That is why there are people who approach uh, kingdom matters with fallen wisdom. Mm -hmm. And there are others who approach it from the ascended place. And uh, this is like uh, you, 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 you look at Moses, mm -hmm. and Moses is told to build according to the pattern of what he saw. Mm -hmm. So Moses, according to him, he sees a, te he sees a temple. And mm -hmm. he's told to build according to the patterns. Mm -hmm. Now, when you come to John the Revelator, he gets into the holy city, and there is no temple mm -hmm. in the city. <laughs> and he says, he says the temple thereof, mm -hmm. oh, there was no building there. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's nothing I could build. And, and, and he says, and he says the temple is the is the is God and the Lamb. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it it depends with you know. Uh, are, are you seeing with the Moses yeah. or with the yes, Revelation? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the uh, the argument that we have, uh, it will vary, and, and sometimes we may not teach it uh, as as an absolute, you know, uh, or universal knowledge because we stand mm -hmm. in different, different places, places in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Very, 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 very important. So if you are standing in the falling... Yes, 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 yes. That's what will happen. Do you discover that uh, when before we got saved, we were using superstition to determine the outcomes of our lives? Yes. For example, if you are just walking around and you meet a black a cat... A black dog. Yes, yes, yes. And, <laughs> and, 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 and you the, say, I'll not continue with the journey. And indeed, if you believed in such a wisdom, mm -hmm. if you saw the black cat and you continued, indeed, your day will not be good. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I usually tell my members, if you see a black cat, mm -hmm. it's going somewhere, you know, it's, it's just on its... It's on its way. Yes, yes uh, to, to some, something. And then you discover that, okay, some people will tell you, no, you are, you are going to get they money. They will do like this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I'm going to get money. Yes, that's, that, those, are, those, are, those, are, uh, uh, those are superstitious beliefs. And the good thing with the word of God is it eliminates three things. Number one, it eliminates biases. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, allow me just go lay that background for me to tackle your question. Mm -hmm. It eliminates biases. The good thing with the word of God, because we are born with biasness. You know, mm -hmm. it also eliminates stereotypes. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, a stereotype like like people from this community are bad people. The people, uh, pastors, female pastors uh, cannot lead cannot. the church, mm -hmm. and those all those are stereotypes. And then it deals with superstition. So most of the people that have really come to to Christendom have come from a spiritual world mm -hmm. that had a lot of gimmicks, a lot of games. You know, I saw certain uh, clip on, on social media, uh, people who claim to be in a church around like this, chanting, doing some chants, and then all of a sudden they, they fall. fall. And then one mama comes and holds another one, and then they fall again. Mm -hmm. So the intensity of falling determines the... the, the, the <laughs> The Holy Spirit, if you fall so many times, then you have the Holy Ghost. But I beg to differ, mm -hmm. because the Holy Spirit would come to us and, and, and in, 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 in proportion to our faith. The Bible says every prophet should prophesy in proportion to our faith. Mm -hmm. If you believe that you have to fall for you to get healed by the Holy Spirit, that is what will happen. Mm -hmm. But there are some people uh, uh, that we just believe in the prayer closet. They don't even shake. Mm -hmm. They receive the Holy Spirit. At least someone said that deep waters yes. are always still. Yes. And if you relate with the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. you will discover that the Holy Ghost is a gentle. Sometimes he can come with that, that violence and people will be slain. But then, I went, I have, I've been doing missions in high schools and I discovered the, mom, the moment they discover that you love seeing people fall down, mm -hmm. they fall down they before fall even down. you let them fall down. <laughs> <laughs> and some of them fall down and, and they, they spend a, a, a considerable amount of time on the ground. Meanwhile, as you teach the word, but they are asleep. <laughs> so you think yes. someone is slain? Yes. In the real sense, they actually sleeping. they are sleeping. <laughs> And that's the subtlety of the wicked one. The Bible says, Paul says, I fear. I fear so much for the church, lest the same way Eve was beguiled by Satan. That is in 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. Mm -hmm. Ye also have been beguiled, you know, deceived, to come out of the simplicity that is in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I get it. The simplicity that is in Christ Jesus. That in Christ Jesus, things should not be so complicated. Mm -hmm. I think we have complicated issues about the Holy Spirit. And, so much. And, and so much. And I, I, I don't limit the Holy Spirit to just coming to you when you are relaxed like that. I, 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 I have never wanted to limit the Holy Spirit. But listen to me. Mm -hmm. Faith plays a very important role. Faith. It plays a very important role. Mm -hmm. Because the Holy Spirit will come, and to us who, who, are, who, who know him, you know, he will, he will tell you what to do. Mm -hmm. But he will never tell you to fall. <laughs> he will just tell you, yes. maybe avoid bow. this path. Yes, mm -hmm. he says bow. Mm -hmm. Like me sometimes when we are in worship, the Holy Spirit tells me, on your knees. Mm -hmm. You get that? Raise up your hands. I don't raise up hands because somebody has told me to raise up hands. Mm -hmm. That is to say, the Holy Spirit would reveal the, will always reveal to each one of us the pattern of operation. Mm -hmm. 
that is a very deep, a very deep thing because uh, let me tell you one of the mistakes I've made in ministry mm -hmm. is I delayed to become me. <laughs> you delayed to become you. Yes. Tell us and, something and, more. And I delayed to do me. Because every person has their place in God. Mm -hmm. And there is a specific pattern of operation that the Holy Spirit has given to everybody. <laughs> so every, I have my uh, own yes. pattern of operation. Yes. Someone else has got their own pattern of yes. operation. So establish your pattern by the help of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Excel in that. Mm -hmm. That is your flavor. In, in the in insulting the world, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, is, is your flavor in what? Insulting, insulting the, world. the world because we have different flavors. Mm -hmm. You get that? So I delay to do me because I forgot to know that God does not disregard my personality mm -hmm. when He's dealing. He does neither does He disregard the 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 the, the experiences I've had. Every person, before the Lord starts using you, He shapes you. Number one, S. You know, shape stands for S, mm -hmm. spiritual gifts. Mm -hmm. He equips you with gifts. You get that? Yes. He equips you with unique gifts. So, He expresses Himself in the percentage of our giftings to the body. Mm -hmm. You get that? Yes. And then H is heart, meaning passion. The Holy Spirit will never ignore your passion. You get that? Mm -hmm. And then A is abilities, the talents. I usually say your talents, your, your, your talents are, are God's gift to you. Mm -hmm. But what you do with those talents are, are, is your gift to, to the Lord. To God. I get it, that. So the talent is yes. God's gift to you, yes. but what you do with this talent is now my is gift your, to God. Is your gift to God. And then we have P, meaning personality. Mm -hmm. And then E are experiences, be it academic experiences, be it emotional experience, painful experiences, pleasant experiences. All those, they inform. It's always a clue because nothing gets caught by surprise. It, always, it, it, it is a clue of how God would want to use you. It, I call it shape, you know, it, there is a way you, you, when you see cup, you know this is for drinking. Mm -hmm. When you see plate, you know this is for putting, for, for uh, if it's lawyer, you soup. put there some stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah, don't call soup, don't say soup. Yeah. <laughs> we yes. call it food. Yes, food. It's the only food in, in the world. Yeah, so what I'm saying is that the ho by the help of the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. you will establish your own pattern. That is so unique from my pattern. Mm -hmm. But what, what will make us now meet, what was our point of convergence? That all those our patterns fit in the Word of God. Mm -hmm. You get that? Yeah. That is now where we meet. So the Word of God now becomes the baseline. As, uh, even, this, even if this one is different from this one, the, but it is still within the confines yeah. of the Word, then it is permitted. So at times we criticize something, a reality, Mm -hmm. That we have not experienced because it is not within our, our space. Our, mm -hmm. I get it. It's not our pattern. It's not our pattern. And whatever you do not understand, you can easily abuse, you can easily criticize. Mm -hmm. You get that? So, the, if, for example, a brother, Brother Apollos comes yes. and she has the word, mm -hmm. and the Bible says he's mighty in scriptures. And he helps so many people in scriptures. Mm -hmm. And another person comes and people fall down. And uh, who is powerful? <laughs> oh, who is more powerful? The, 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 the one who is sharing scriptures. You see? Because you identify mm -hmm. with that realm. Mm -hmm. I get it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but in the real sense, it is God who is working in them both, both to do and mm -hmm. to will according to his good pleasure. Wow. I get it, Dad. Yeah. And, 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 and others, even if, if I find another man, a man of God that wants people to fall down, you say, the meeting that people are just sitting like this and just speaking and just speaking, it was not so powerful. Mm -hmm. uh, very uh, true. Yes, the meeting was powerful until mamas come and a uh, very new braid, you know, uh, I'm a roll kwa ground, watu kwa mtu wamekuja na mother in law kwa kanisa, ngoya mama in law imenuka juu, paka mama, sasa. 
namna gani hiyo now it, it brings it gets into confusion mm -hmm. and the bible says something glorious i don't know whether you have ever uh, examined that by verse mm -hmm. bible says in ephesians chapter 5 verse 18 that mm -hmm. do not be drunk with wine in which there is excess mm -hmm. but be ye filled by the holy spirit. holy spirit so when you are drunk with wine there is what excess so any time there is excessiveness is not now the holy spirit nipombe mm -hmm. There's a lot of excesses, mm -hmm. you know. Mudu anaanguka, na roll, na 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 sarakasi, nini nini nini. Hadi na fika saa sita usiku bado na pambana na mudu. But most of those people, if you are very keen to those people who are delivered on Sunday, delivered on Tuesday during the the the, the prayer meeting, the, the prayer meeting, Wednesday uh, during the uh, midweek uh, service, yes, and <laughs> Thursday the prophetic service, and Friday in the kesha. <laughs> all those. <right. laughs> <All right. laughs> All those people that get delivered, mm -hmm. they have one characteristic. Mm -hmm. They have not given the word of God its preeminence. Mm -hmm. They have not allowed the Holy Spirit to breathe on the word of God. Mm -hmm. They are used to gimmicks. Because I will say this is a very controversial statement. Mm -hmm. No, nothing called a man of God called to a deliverance ministry. But we have, we hear them say, I'm called into deliverance There's ministry. There's nothing like that. What is that? Well, can you give me that in the Bible? <laughs> Apostle, it's not me who say, uh, I hear them saying. <laughs> who is the ultimate deliverer? The Bible says, you shall know that truth, and, and that the truth, truth shall, shall make you free. free. Actually, the right verse is, uh, word is make you. I get it. Mm -hmm. Whoever the son of man sets free. free the son of god sets, sets free is, is free, free indeed. indeed so who has been called in the ministry of delivery the son of <laughs> so i have no i have no problem with uh, men of god who walk around and the lord uses them mm -hmm. with all due respect to really help our people uh, at, at some point the lord helps me also mm -hmm. to you know mm -hmm. pray and cast out devils mm -hmm. but listen to me it is it's part of the package of a believer mm -hmm. those who believe those who believe yes that it comes with the package of salvation yes, of salvation. salvation is a package yes it's a package so this is part of this package yes part of this package wow i hope you have you come to the realization that even you as a member of a church as long as you are saved that is a package mm -hmm. yes so most of these things, I think we have uh, served on the altar very weak doctrine. Mm -hmm. As in, what's the authority of a believer? An ordinary believer, a person, you've just gone to the road there and met them and preached to them Christ and they are filled mm -hmm. by the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. they, are, they must be able, number one, to lay their hands on the sick. And the and sick will be healed. healed. So nobody has also been called into, okay. And then it, it says... <laughs> He <laughs> says uh, uh, they will they will cast out devils. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He says they'll speak in new in a, in a language, in a new tongues, mm -hmm. you know, and then they say and they'll take poisonous things and nothing shall by any means hurt them. them. And so the, the list continues. The list continues. So within the the composition, you know, the package of a believer, mm -hmm. a believer who has received Jesus is supernatural. Mm -hmm. It's only that we have not educated our believers to understand that there is what we call now in the New Testament the priesthood of believers. So there is nothing, or the priesthood of all believers, there is nothing like a priest seated at a place that, every, uh, that now is a, is a mindset, you know, a, 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 what? I, I go, a I celebrity. Go Mm -hmm. I go to see them like the, the other brethren. Yes. You go and you, so we, uh, we have idolized men. Mm -hmm. That if I just see that man, I'm healed. The same spirit that is in him is in, is you. in you. But just work on the relationship that you have with him. And you will discover that you will join a, a, a pastor, for example, not because he's a priest and you are not, mm -hmm. but because it is good for you to fulfill the law of submission and authority. Mm -hmm. Are you getting that? Yeah. A person that watches offer mm -hmm. your soul. But it's not that he can now offer sacrifices on your behalf, on your like behalf. in the Levitical order. So the Levitical order has been replaced with the priesthood of all, all 
all believers. believers. Why? Courtesy of the Holy Spirit. Because the Levitical order was that before you become a Levite, you are, you are given oil. Yes. Separated. Mm -hmm. But now, everybody who is born again is qualified to receive the Holy Spirit. Because the oil was an emblem, mm -hmm. was a symbol of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. But now the real Spirit of God is here. And that is why there is, uh, there is another war on the anointing oil. There is another war on water. There is another war, a lot of war there. Yes. So we shall fight another day. But when we, 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 we get to the real stuff in the Word of God, mm -hmm. you will discover that there are a lot of things that we are doing that belong to the old you know, dispensation. Mm -hmm. And we are supposed to transit and transit successfully without confusion and without anger. Because I know what I'm, I'm, I'm saying can easily provoke anger, can Very easily true. bring about a feeling that, you know, there is a, a generation of people that really don't want to water down. We appreciate the Lord for the things that our former generations have done, carrying oil, carrying water, mm -hmm. doing this. God bless it. And handkerchiefs. And by the way, we were helped from there. Mm -hmm. But then every generation has to grow in the revelation and knowledge of Christ. Very true. Yes. And the more, because I don't know whether I have something. God yes. will always move regardless of whether we know him or not. I don't. He will always move. Why? Because of his mercy hmm. over his people. You get that? I'm getting it. You will see God healing. Because God will not limit himself to the weakness of a man. Are you getting that? Yes. He will, he will sometimes, because of desiring to accomplish a certain thing, he will surpass whatever that man, you know, what concerns mm -hmm. that man. As long as that man is available, mm -hmm. he will use, he will surpass that and bring about an establishment. Mm -hmm. You get that? He'll not look at yes. him as this person has just done something yes. wrong. Yes. But takes him as a vessel. Yeah, and that is why it is very dangerous for a man of God to think that the Lord is moving like this because I, am. I have fulfilled all the demands that require him to move. Mm -hmm. yeah, that. In other words, Apostle, you are telling us that God can use me yes. because I'm just available. Yes. But when we get down to look at the requirement, yes, you are out of place. I'm out of place. I don't even meet the threshold. Yes, yes. An example is he calls Cyrus mm -hmm. a heathen. He says, Cyrus, my anointed. Wow. You get that? Yes. And he says, I will hold your hand, your right hand, mm -hmm. and say, I will go ahead of you to subdue Sub kings. Q Yes. I, and he says, I will break bars of iron. Mm -hmm. He says, I, I will open before you get, double get. Mm -hmm. He says, nobody shall shut. I'll give you treasures of darkness. Look at that. Mm -hmm. If a man is found available, the Lord will and use And this him. is not even a believer. Yes. This is not even the, 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 from the family he has chosen. Yes, he calls him anointed. Boy, you get challenge. that. So God... And, and don't think that he will not hold us accountable for not knowing him. <laughs> he will use us then, but later on, he will call Moses for a meeting. He said, Moses, I told you that you, this time you don't strike the rock. This time you have to speak <laughs> to the rock. Now, because of this, <laughs> my people, <laughs> the one that you thought I would kill, will get into the promised land. But, but you, you die. You get that? He will hold us accountable eventually. So, what then will be the consecration that we require as a body of Christ? Mm -hmm. As far as doctrine is concerned, concerned, for us actually to say we were faithful, like Paul would say, mm -hmm. it's required of every steward to be faithful and let us handle the mysteries of Christ with a clear conscience. You get that? So, most of us are not given to growth because now God has gone ahead of our growth and He's using is using us regardless of our weakness oh, wow, to bring about establishment. Mm -hmm. So we stop growing. We start basking in the glories of <laughs> not knowing that is by grace. Mm -hmm. You get that? So yes. the responsibility of growth it's upon us. is upon us. God will provide, a father will provide food. Mm -hmm. He will not eat for you. Mm -hmm. He will not grow for you. 
Very true. You get that? So that is why Paul, the servant of God, Apostle Paul, became one of the most epic images, personalities in the body of Christ that today we couldn't have understood the gospel if he had not devoted himself to the revelation of Christ Jesus. Wow. Quite a challenge. I don't know if you are there and thinking that God is really using you because of qualifications, but we are being challenged that God even overlooks our not meeting the threshold, but because he just needs to establish mm. his kingdom. Mm. He just needs to establish. Now, Apostle, yeah. I'm trying to look at this case. Mm. Mm. I am under yes. a, a person yes. who is uh, not knowledgeable enough, mm. who has not given himself or herself into the learning, and therefore the pattern of his operation not even being realized. Mm. It's like a blind man mm. leading mm. another one. Mm. Now here I am. Mm. And I have just believed. And you realize that them who have like skewed mind mm. that Holy Spirit is all about falling. Mm. You cannot try to sit them down and tell them that Holy Spirit can even whisper to you mm. that you just love. Mm. How do we help such a person? Because he has been brought up by this person who has skewed belief. Mm and sticks to that. Mm. How will we help this person to realize that it is just a way of limiting the manifestation of the Holy Spirit? One thing that we, I always say and I'll say continuously, let's return Bible studies in church. Mm -hmm. Not midweek. Let's have Bible study. And let's, let's, devol let's, let's decentralize these Bible studies into smaller accountable groups. A church should not have two home cells only. Mm -hmm. A church should have as many as home cells many as, as possible. possible. And in those home cells, let there be a standardized Bible study. I mean, let there be a growth channel. Mm -hmm. You know, what I call a growth path. Mm -hmm. Let there be discipleship. Mm -hmm. You get that? Let's not just get a person, uh, get, get saved today, and then tomorrow we discover he's manifesting a certain gift. And say, this one is, 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 is praying well. He can be an you'll assistant be, pastor. You'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> because, a, a toddler yes. who needs to be. Yes, because the, the demands of ministry demand a lifestyle and a knowledge. Mm -hmm. It demands character development. This is a systematic development of a person. Person's character that requires time. The reason why time is required is the character of a person. Wow. You get that? <laughs> so, number one, uh, uh, when it deals with character, mm -hmm. every person that is rising must get the first and very important thing. P attitude is called an attitude of being teachable. But then, who is the teacher? Now, that is where the problem comes So in. there is a gap. You're getting that? Yeah. We are having more revival meetings today than mm -hmm. we have conferences <laughs> to just teach the word. And then this is what I'll, I'll suggest. Mm -hmm. In our teachings, let's have series. Mm -hmm. You get that? Yes. Let's teach a series on the Holy Spirit. So that Today I taught about this. Yes. Next Sunday we are building on, on this. the same. Wow, Apostle. That's enough dose for tonight. Okay. Hey, uh, we will just handle emblems next, <laughs> next Sunday. <laughs> it has been a good session of, uh, of, 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 of just being enlightened and being reminded just to get back to the track. Thank you so much for having kept watch. I know it is a good thing to learn a new thing each and every day. Till next week, same day, same time, God bless you, God keep you, have a spirit-filled week, and by that I'm not meaning a week full of falling. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
I have been your host, Venanze Hisa. <laughs>